Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will be looking at um, Re Revit to Caramba BIM workflow. Yeah. So previous tutorials, we uh, create grass for geometry and then analyze in Caramba to send Revit. But in this case, we will create geometry in Dynamo, and then Dynamo geometry will bake into Revit. Then we'll export Revit geometry to Rhino to use Caramba. And after that, in Caramba, we'll calculate structural analysis and optimize the cross sections, and we'll send it back to Revit through Geometry Gym or Rhino with Dynamo uh, plugin. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at our Revit model that I made sample. And as you can see in Dynamo, um, we can create parametric truss structure in Dynamo, and we can apply um, uh, the structural frame that, that we, sh we wish to have it uh, in advance. And we can use this um, analytical model information to send it to um, Rhino by exporting the geometry. But I wouldn't recommend to send analytical line directly from Revit because once you send this analytical uh, model to um, Rhino, then Rhino, when he import, Rhino will recognize the divisions um, as a three different uh, three divisions instead of single um, beam. Okay, perhaps let's try what I mean by three divisions. Okay, I'll export this Revit model to DWG to import in Rhino. We have to make sure um, the unit because um, we're going to use meter unit and also. We have to make sure the version of uh, CAD is supposed to be lower than 2007 version to import in Rhino. I'll just import this file to test. Um, and I'm just going to hit OK. okay there is test folder, sorry. We'll just test the um, DWG in this case. Okay. And I'm going to open new Rhino um, in Meta. And I'll import this geometry from our export options DWG file. Let's hit open to import. As you can see, we import um, the uh, grass for uh, the sorry Revit geometry now into um, into Rhino. But but as you can see, there are three divisions always uh, in Rhino model instead of one single line. But what we need for Caramba calculation, we need uh, here just one single line in between those node points. Okay, so what I what will be the best solution for that? I was work around for this. Um, I guess the best option is we create geometry in Dynamo, and then and then sending actual uh, instead of sending actual analytical line, we just sending model line to analyze in Caramba. That makes much easier to calculate in Caramba. So, to prepare that file, I'll, um, for now I'll just um, disconnect my components in here that, um, okay, ridge beams, we're not gonna send it to, to we're not gonna create these, imp uh, these geometry in Revit for now. And, um, okay, we just don't need and we don't need. We'll only have this model line in geometry in Dynamo. Okay, I'm going to run this so we can ignore entire um, geometry in uh, the cross sections in 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 in, in Revit. Is. So always double check our geometry. That's one. That's okay. Okay. So now it's ready to send it to um um. Uh, this model line, which is because it doesn't have start and end po end lines for calculation, you only have just simply model line, um, which is actually just 3D line, let's say, and we can send it to Rhino. Before sending these uh, model lines to uh, Rhino, we'll just have a look at our Dynamo definition shortly to for you to understand. So basically, Dynamo is very similar to Grasper. We can create number sequence which is similar to Grasper series component 
and then we apply these uh, series to XYZ uh, component in Grasshopper is construct points and we move these points to Y axis same as move tool translate and we um, we connect those line these two points here and here as a line so we have bottom lines of that and after that we also use curve at parameter which is similar to evaluate curves in Grasshopper that we can create curve points in the middle of, um, in Dynamo okay so um, I'm not going to go through all the definition in Dynamo because it's just um, meaningless in this tutorial but this Dynamo is basically works similar to Grasshopper that uh, works for Revit okay mm, now um, okay like, so at the end we create all these component which we have uh, splitted um, segments from um, from Dynamo script that we can have single element from each node point as you can see here all these single elements that we converting to the model line here so I'll just organize these lines as a truss structure, just simple shared structure and we can uh, send this line, curve lines that we extract and combine them, merge them into one tree structure and we flatten it, the data and these lines we are sending to Revit okay before we are sending this Dynamo model line to Revit I'll just quickly test how it works um, in here parametrically just always double check if your script is working before you're sending it so I'm just saying uh, with the structural length that Dynamo adopt those lengths and also the width of the structure as you can see this um, structure width is working and the gutter level which it, at the moment this level line uh, levels here we can check if our columns accordingly going higher which is working okay and also you can check the reach level reach beam level which is that point here that how it goes up and down parametrically so so far there is no problem we can send it to um, Revit and we can s export this geometry back to um, Dynamo uh, to, to to um, to Rhino, okay. Let's have a look our geometry. Somehow that the model was not working. Okay, two meter. I'll move it to a little bit. Let's make it six meter. Okay, so these are our model line to send it to um, to, to Rhino export we go export DWG options make sure your unit always uh, match with your Rhino when you import your Rhino you have to match with this unit and um, the Rhino are uh, the DWG the format the version of DWG always need to be lower than 2007 version otherwise Rhino cannot import higher version of DWG file okay now let's specify the folder that there are so many folders we can control C and I'm going to push them here and I'm going to override this DWG file okay yes we'll export that alright 